What's going on guys, Palazzo94 aka Max Mushmore and today we're going to be going over the Palace Summer 2020 Week 2 drop list. Now before I get into this video, I please ask that you drop this video a like. Now hit the subscribe button if you haven't already as I upload new videos on this channel every single week. Now first up on the drop list we have the Fruity Jacket releasing in blue and red out of the two colorways that are being released i personally like the blue one more also want to mention i love how they put on the 2017 intenso design i love how they bought that back overall i'm a little on the fence about actually copying this on friday but again as mentioned if i do cop it I'll, I'll be sure to get the blue one now onto the bougie shirt this is just gonna be a straight up pass i feel like i can get this shirt at Uniqlo for like a much cheaper price because let's be honest here it's just a plain shirt so that's just going to be a straight up pass on that part up next we have the swim shorts these are pretty cool I would personally go for the black pair to match with the text polo green which I'll get onto it in a little bit now onto the felt P hood I'm gonna give this one a pass it's a little, little bit too playing for me it's all right it's just not something I see myself getting I'd rather spend my money on a different item but onto the Tex Polo black and green. This is one of my favorite items that I saw from the summer 2020 lookbook. I am 100% going for this on Friday. I believe this is quite a hyped item for this week. So I hope, you know, the website doesn't get botted or I hope it doesn't sell out too quick. So I really hope to cop this on Friday. Now onto basically a long sleeve. This is going to be a pass. I personally already own a bunch of long sleeves. I know I just bought a long sleeve last week which was the alcohol one. Be sure to go to my Instagram, Palazzo94, and drop that photo a like if you haven't already. Now onto the next item, we have the Expenser t-shirt. It's gonna be a pass for me again. I don't really have too much to say on this one. Quite simple design. It's all right, it's just not something I would personally go for. And you know, I'm just giving my personal honest opinions and feedback. Now up next, we have the crew neck. I'm actually gonna give this one a pass as summer is around the corner and I won't be able to wear this for like the next few months and it's just going to be stuck in storage or whatever so again i do love this crew neck i do love the white colorway it's just not something i'm going to go for right now as i'm more focusing on buying like summer items right now onto the speedway shell six panel this one i'm not really feeling this one you know i'm gonna give this one a pass actually and onto the final item this week which is going to be 120 pound in the uk 140 dollars in the us as i've been reading on comments on supreme leaks news and just flicking through the max merch comments i saw that a lot of people weren't really feeling this release I personally was a little let down. I like the white pair, I just don't like the heel. And if I was to get this shoe, personally, I would go for the black pair to match the Tex Polo black and green. But, you know, the, the heel, nah, it, I just wasn't feeling the heel. The heel ruined it for me, personally. I just wish the blue stripe wasn't on the back. If the blue stripe wasn't on the back, I would have definitely got this to match the, the Tex Polo black and green. But because of this blue on the bat, it's unfortunately a pass from me. So anyways, that is a quick review of this week's drop. If you guys found this video useful, please be sure to follow us on Instagram at Max Merch, Max Merch More, and my personal page, Palazzo94. Thank you for watching, guys, and stay safe.